Hi friends, I'm Mark Govan, uh, host of Florida Gardening, heard on 970 WFLA AM in Tampa Bay, Florida. And today... Uh, fun, uh, which will grow just upright, but they also have trailers and climbers uh, that the anthuriums come in. And they come in multiple colors. What's kind of neat about the anthuriums is they have these what we call bracts or uh, spathes that come up on the plant, and these can sometimes get five, six inches uh, around. Very attractive uh, looking, especially some of the different colors that grow. Now, this can be either used as an indoor plant in the shade, uh, and a lot of people do use these indoors, but then other people will plant these at the base of trees outside, again, in the shade. This is not a sun plant. You want to keep this growing in the shade. Uh, the trailing varieties of these plants will grow right up to the top of some trees, but uh, you don't have to let them grow that far. But if you train it, it'll grow right around an arbor or something else, but again, you have to keep it in the shade. If this plant is grown in the house, one of the things you need to do to keep it alive is you want to make sure you keep it moisture, uh, keep moisture on the plant. Uh, any pot that you have that may have holes at the base of the plant, you will want to put a ring underneath here to catch any water that drips through the plant, and that also allows it to take up that moisture as it needs it. Uh, something, something else uh, inside the plant, inside the home, if you, uh, a lot of times our plants get dusty inside the house. Well, it's very easy to wash the leaves off with just a damp rag or a washcloth. Just wipe those leaves off and the leaves become very, very shiny again. Anthuriums, as I say, are very easy to grow and to propagate. Uh, some of the trailing uh, varieties, all you need is a small stem cutting and you just take the cutting off, you put a little bit of dirt around it, keep it in the shade, uh, keep water on it, and the plant will come back and grow very, very easy for you. A great easy to care for plants. One thing else I want to remind you of is as the plant roots, they do put out a lot of roots. And I'm just going to show you real quick here as I pull this pot away from the plant how fast the roots grow. So you're going to want to go ahead and make sure you watch the plant's roots. When you see it like this, you know you're going to have to put it into a little bit larger container and that will keep the plant looking good. One of the ways also you can tell if your plant is becoming root bound is some of the older leaves on the plant will start turning yellow or brown at the base. If you see that happening, pull the plant again out of the pot, take a look. If you see a lot of roots like we're seeing here, it's time to go ahead and replant. I'm Mark Govan, a host of uh, Florida Gardening Radio Program, heard on 970 WFLA uh, AM in Tampa Bay. And uh, today we're at the Willow Tree Nursery. I hope you have learned a little bit about growing anthuriums.